The product I'll present now is the PLT or putter line tracer. It's the first instrument capable of showing the trajectory of your swing and the deviation from the X, Y and Z axes. So now I'll proceed with the analysis and correction of your movements thanks to the immediate feedback on every shot. You can set up the PLT in just a few moves. It's sufficient to apply the magnet in the center of the base of the face of the putter with the adhesive. Then put the applicator at the top of the grip in line with the small hole that you find there and then apply the magnet for cancelling the track. At this point apply the gates to the base of the PLT or apply the tees at the end of the base to make your practice even more difficult. Now you're ready to train. Now let's see how you use the PLT. The putter line tracer leaves the track of every swing on the magnetic bands on the base. Now using the signal that's left by every shot and combining this with the trajectory at the start of the shot and the final result, you can understand what has happened effectively during your movement. Let's go and have a look at some examples. I've lined up the PLT on the hole and set the gates in correspondence with the magnets in order to check the initial trajectory of the ball. So let's go and see. OK, in this swing I've created a trajectory which is dead straight. I'd say it was a good swing. Now we cancel it and look at another example. Look, in this swing, for example, I've created a trajectory which runs inside, straight, outside, and in fact, you might have noticed that I hit the gate on the right. Now, combining the result of the ball with the image of the track, which is left by the PLT, we can understand effectively what's happened. In this case, it was a trajectory error. If my trajectory had been dead straight and I'd hit the right gate anyway, then I would have struck with the open face of the putter. It's the same for the left. Working with the pros on the tour, we notice something which is, let's say, very particular. Even though the ball has gone through the gates and the track is dead straight, I can see that the track is very weak on the backswing and practically absent in the follow-through. Now, how can we explain this? Sometimes it happens that especially when the greens are fast and we're a little afraid, let's say, the normal shoulder, arms and putter relationships not maintained during the swing. The normal arc is not maintained and we tend to pull towards ourselves and hold the putt, as we say, during the swing. We can see this on the PLT because there's no track. If the head of the putter moves too far away from the magnetic surface, then no track is left so we can evaluate and improve this aspect too. It's important when you're training to have immediate feedback on what you're doing. Don't use the PLT only when you're putting badly, but also when you're putting well, so you can effectively understand what's happening and be able to reproduce it in the future.